Welcome to SPC Insights with Dr. Bill. Simplifying SPC and statistical analysis, this video is going to take a look at the four possible states of a process. Is your product within specification? Everybody worries about that. Production folks, management, and customers. How many worry about if the process producing the product is in control though? Not many, most likely. It's easy to tell if your process or your product is within specifications. You simply measure it and compare it to the specs. But you're going to have to use control charts to find out if your process is in control, and it's not that difficult. So in this video, we're going to start with introducing the four process states that were developed by Dr. Donald Weider. We'll review statistical control and individual charts, which we'll be using to help see the state of the process. So there are four possibilities. When you take a look at your processes, we usually think about two dimensions, the products in spec or out of spec, and the process is either in control or out of control. And we're gonna use control and specification as categories to create a quadrant. These process states, again, were created by Dr. Donald Witter. So we're gonna start with the question, is my process in control or out of control? We put a line there, a horizontal line that starts to form a quadrant. Then we're gonna take a look, is it our product in spec or out of spec? going to put the vertical line in, and now we're going to have our four quadrants, which are going to define our process states. In the ideal state, the process is in control, and our product is within specifications. In the threshold state, the process is still in control, but we're making product that's out of spec. Then we have the brink of chaos, where we have an out of control process, although the product is within specifications, and then we move to the state of chaos. We have out of control process and out of spec product and you have no idea what's going on in your process. So in a control chart, remember you're going to plot points over time, calculate an average, then you're going to calculate control limits, add the average and control limits to the chart. And as long as there are no points beyond the control limits and you don't have any patterns, your process is in control. You just have common causes of variation present. So remember with a with a control chart, we're looking at two things in terms of control. A process with consistent variation is in statistical control. If you have out of control points, that process is unpredictable variation and is out of statistical control. So whether or not a process is in control is one of the key to understanding the four process states. Now we're going to be using the next chart for an analysis in here. You can download the data used from the link uh, in the YouTube notes below. So the difference between the upper control limit and the lower control limit is what we call a natural tolerance. That's the range the process it operates in. And our process here is in control, no points beyond the limits and no patterns. This process is consistent and predictable as it operates within its natural tolerance. So we're gonna start with the ideal state where we have an in-control process, the one we just looked at, and we're also in spec. The difference between the upper spec and lower spec we call the engineering tolerance, as you can see here. Remember, our natural tolerance is what the process does. And here, the engineering tolerance is greater than the natural tolerance. And our process is in control. And since our specifications are beyond the control limits, all the product is within specifications. And that's the ideal state. Your process is in control, and you're making in-spec product. And it's going to do that for the foreseeable future until the process changes. Now we're going to move to the threshold state where our process is still in control, but now we have out of spec product. Okay, the process, since it's in control, is doing the best it can. The only thing you can do is sort, sort things to sort the good from the bad. Three situations can create the threshold state. Your process average is too high, process average is too low, or the natural tolerance is actually greater than the engineering tolerance. Let's start with one where the process average is too high. All the points are within the control limits, engineering tolerance is greater than the natural tolerance, but the problem is the process average is well above the center point of the spec. Our control limits actually outside the specification limits. And we have product being produced above the upper spec limit. And that out of spec products will continue until the process is fundamentally changed. Here's the opposite effect where the process average is too low. Nice thing about the individual's charts is we can put specifications and control limits on the same chart as shown here. And here, the lower control limit is below the lower spec limit. And again, you're going to be making out of spec product. Then that here we have the natural tolerance is greater than the engineering tolerance. This process just has too much variation. It's in control and predictable, but the control limits are outside the specification limits. 
and this leads to out of spec product on the high side as well as the low side. And it's going to continue that process because it's in control until you finally change the process. Now we're going to move to the brink of chaos state. Here the process is not in control, although all the product is within specifications. You can see it's not in control because we have a couple points above the control limits. We have a run below the average, so your process is not consistent and predictable. And the problem with this brink of chaos is everything's within specification. So why worry? Well, eventually you're going to get out of this state and you're going to end up moving to the state of chaos unless you get rid of those special causes. Now with the state of chaos, it's not consistent. You're out of control. You have out of spec. Here you see you have points beyond the control limit as well as that pattern. The natural tolerance is greater than the engineering tolerance. Out of specifications being produced. You need to find the special causes of variation and then reduce the natural tolerance. Here you have no idea what your process is going to make. So in summary, we have taken a look at statistical control and we took a look at the individual's chart because we can use specifications on that chart along with control limits. And then we took a look at the four process states and we had our ideal state, our threshold state, our brink of chaos and our state of chaos where you have no idea what's going to happen into the future. Thank you for watching our video, our SPC Insights with Dr. Bill. Click the YouTube button below to subscribe. Visit our SPC Knowledge Base, 220 plus articles free of charge. Use our software to help identify your process state. Thanks again for watching the video.